Ah, final show of the year. Just here, uh, waiting in line to park and set up. A bunch of dealers got here way too early, as they always do. So they'll get the good parking spots, which is why they get here way too early. But I can't stand sitting in line. So I will probably have a longer distance to unload, but that's okay. Yeah, it'll work. Um, final show of the year. Hoping for a good one. Well, pack out, set up, pack out, pack out. Wish it was pack out time. Setup is going great so far. I, uh, they screwed up the walls of the guy next to me and had him wait into my booth. So they re had to redo those. So I had to wait and wait and wait. They redid the walls and somehow I've lost two feet. So my 15 foot wide booth is now 13 foot wide. So that's just great. I overpacked anyway. And so now it's like, oh, I got too much stuff, and too small of a space that I paid for. And I'm quite irritated and it's hot. And the walk is long, and now I remember why I mostly like to sell online. And out of shops, and not at shows. So, yay! All set up. Well, all finished setting up because I ran out of time. I'm actually outside shopping right now. As you can see, not much going on. I haven't bought anything, but... I think I'm calling it quits for the day. A little disappointed. I got a couple hours tomorrow before they let the people in, and I'm hoping to buy some stuff. Um, we'll see. If not, then uh, hopefully I finish setting up and sell some stuff. I did sell one thing today during setup, cane for $100. So I'm on the board, and tomorrow's a new day. Okay. Ready for the rest of the setup. A uh, little bit of line, customers already at 7 o'clock in the morning. And so I got an hour and a half or more to finish setting up. I got a bunch of stuff to price. And if possible, I'm gonna run outside and chop some more. Let's do it. Mostly set up, walking around outside now, trying to buy something. Found three things outside and one thing inside. And here is my final booth. Probably still a little more crowded than I would like, but I think it looks pretty good. It's hard to do a booth here. You have to bring your own walls and your own lights. Well, you, you always have to bring your own lights, but to do your own walls and your own lights doesn't look quite look as professional as some of the big walled shows I do, but I think it came together pretty nicely, and I like the mix of merchandise and the mix of price points and everything, so I think it'll work. One of the dealers in the room brought in lunch for me and it was really nice. Thank you, Judy. Hey, driving down the service road now, uh, getting ready to get set up for day two. I got a few more things I'm gonna put out into the booth. I sold a bunch of my cheaper signs yesterday, so I'm putting some more of those out. Um, like porcelain, work safety signs, danger, those type of things. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a good day. I was hoping to get here a few minutes earlier, maybe shop the outside again, see if I missed anything, which I'm sure I did. I think there's probably a lot of good buys left here, but um, I'm getting here like 8.30, so show opens at 9. I might not have that much time to shop, but I'll probably spin through uh, my building once again. And it looks like there's a line of, uh, looks like there's a line, about 10 cars to get in um, as shoppers. So that's, that's pretty impressive. It's a half hour early on day two and there's still a line. So that's cool. Hoping for a good day. And here's the line as they actually opened up the field. As you can see, it's a, I'm far away from the line, but there was a pretty good line. Always lots of dogs at the show, which is kind of neat. Um, rainy, nasty day. Uh, didn't rain as much as it predicted earlier in the week, but it rained a little bit. I was hoping that would drive some more customers inside, but it didn't get real crowded. Didn't get real crowded at all. Lunch day two was a real treat. Barbecue food truck on site. Show is over. 
Got my walls down, got my lights down. Everything that gets boxed up is boxed up, so I'm just ready to haul the stuff out. It's, I don't know, 75 feet that way, 60 feet that way, to here into the van and get it done. So, let's do this. All packed up, getting ready to leave. Um, like 6.45, not bad time. Would have liked to have gotten out of here sooner, but I was sort of slow packing in the beginning, hoping that the one dealer uh, that was by the door would get done so that I could go right out that garage door, which is what I ended up doing towards the end. <sighs> Easier to fit the tables and everything. side. Although I'd already taken all the tables out. Easier to fit my wall sideways than uh, vertical through a uh, regular door. So, um, all packed up. I'll go over all the sales and stuff uh, tomorrow when I show some of the stuff I bought. But I bought some fun stuff and I made profit. So, overall, a good show. About to unload pretty good show overall can't complain uh i thought sales were a little sluggish in the building i think i sold um i ended up selling like 22 items but like four of them were ten dollars or less ended up right at two thousand dollars two thousand in sales uh not bad considering the booth rent but among the lower ones for that show for me but i did during the show post booth photos both on uh instagram my business Facebook page and my personal Facebook page and I ended up selling like another eleven hundred dollars worth of stuff. So thirty one hundred which puts me right in range of what a pretty good show at Fisherville is. Um it's a profit making show after all my expenses including show rent, cost of goods, gas and food and everything. I don't know. About uh six hundred and fifty, seven hundred dollars profit. So not a bad show. I bought Six things. Uh, should have been seven. I screwed up something during setup. I saw something, piece of pottery for 50 bucks that I probably could have made, I don't know, $75, $100 on. The dealer was not in their booth. I left it when I looked up like an hour later, someone else was buying it. So that was a mistake. I should have uh, hung out and bought that. I did buy this little thing. It's a little wood treen bottle. Um, it says port, port on it. Made uh, made to look like black glass. It's actually a nutmeg grinder. Pretty cool thing. I might end up keeping that. I don't know. I bought outside from my friend Steve, a dealer from Pennsylvania. I bought three things. Those things are pretty cool. Pretty happy with those. Um, the plane was probably a dumb buy. I wasn't super interested in buying it, but I was handling it, and he quoted me a price, so I ended up buying it. The cutout man, I really like the cutout man. That's kind of a cool thing. Um, wasn't very much money. Has some repaint to it, so I don't know. Pretty cool thing, though. And I bought the game board. I like the game board. It is a patent date of 1873 on it, so pretty early. Um, production piece, but still pretty cool. Bought this chestnut bottle that I flipped immediately on Facebook. Made a little bit of money on. Happy with that. Bought this guy, or gal, Statue of Liberty wood statue of liberty figure kind of folky and weird and neat and i don't know i like it kind of charming bought that uh, i bought that right at pack out i saw it there and set up i wasn't i don't know <sighs> wasn't in super buying mood i guess saw it there and set up passed on it went back there and pack out asked them what the best price was and they quoted me a really good price so i bought it and uh hopefully i can make 50 or 75 dollars on it pretty cool thing so uh yeah overall pretty good show um hope you enjoyed this video of this making of an antique show and uh be sure to check out my other videos and hit like and subscribe thanks for following me on my antiques journey